don't seem fair. Sometimes the bad guy wins. No, in search, Google has made bodacious strides toward wiping off all that so-called black hat SEO. But we still see cases where a dastardly spammer or link manipulator is ranking high. And in this episode of Here's Why, we're going to learn you good about why that happens and why it still don't pay to be a rustler or poker cheat. Mark, you said it in the intro. Even though Google has done a lot to clean cheaters and spammers out of its search results, we still see some of them ranking well for some queries. Right, Eric. I mean, for example, look at this result page shown in a recent Search Engine Land article. The second through fifth results look like they would give the searcher a PDF with the information he or she is looking for. But clicking those actually redirects you to a sales page on a website. That's a black hat technique known as cloaking. The Google search bot can actually see the PDF, which does exist, but a hacker got access to the page where the PDF resides and inserted a sophisticated script to redirect the users to the sales page you saw. By the way, you can read more about that example in the article by Barry Schwartz in the URL on your screen right now and in the episode notes. Now that search was done back in July of 2015. It's interesting to note that doing the same search in March 2016 turns up only two PDFs at the top of the results, and both of those lead to 404 pages, a page websites display where the link to page no longer exists. It's possible that those sites discovered that their PDF pages had been hacked and took them down. The Google search bot simply hasn't discovered that yet. So does that mean when it comes to Google, crime pays? I mean, will Black Bart always win in the shootout at high noon? No, because I don't think that pursuing black hat SEO is a good idea at all. If you have any interest in building your business for the long term, it just isn't going to work for you. Even where spam or link manipulation does slip through, Google is getting better all the time at detecting it and dealing with it more quickly. I've written about what I think will be one of the best weapons in Google's arsenal for the war against black hat SEO, and that's machine learning. You can see my piece on Moz at the URL below in the screen or in the episode notes. Now, Google uses machine learning for a lot of things other than fighting spam, but the incentive to try to manipulate search is high because there's so much money in it, and machine learning, I believe, will be a valuable tool for Google in helping them keep ahead in that never-ending arms race. In a nutshell, machine learning will probably enable many anti-spam algorithms to help them quickly find out patterns that usually indicate spammy or manipulative behavior. Since the Google machine will always be able to think faster than human spammers, this will help them outpace them and help their search quality keep getting higher all the time. And even though Black Hat SEO used to be a lot easier, you've always insisted on White Hat SEO strategies for our Stone Temple clients, isn't that right? That's right, partner. The sheriff always knew that the right side would win long before the final reel of the Western. <laughs> okay there, partner. How about I'll let you ride off into the sunset while we find out what happened to our two gunslingers, and you join us next Monday for another Here's Why. Well, Power Nation, I just can't seem to beat you, Sheriff, so I reckon I better join you. Good choice, Bart but I'm moving the handbills for your saloon to the top of the town bulletin board. Yippee! Now my saloon business will grow faster than a cactus in a downpour, and I won't have to be fretting my head over a visit from the sheriff. <laughs> oh, shucks, Bart. Come on, I'll buy you a sarsaparilla. Sounds great.